Hello guys, welcome to another episode of this Mercedes Sprinter van conversion. In today's video we're going to be doing one of the finishing touches in the van which is those seat cushions for that newly formed bench seat that we created in the living area. For the inspiration for these seat cushions and for the fabric I've looked back at our family history. Nobody will know because I generally keep it quite a bit of a secret but my full name is Gregory MacDonald Virgo. It's a very Scottish name and the family has a lot of Scottish history and the names passed down to me through the generations. My mother's name is Flora MacDonald. My grandmother's name was also Flora MacDonald. And many of you all know there's a very famous Flora MacDonald in Scottish history. Because it was Flora MacDonald that helped Bonnie Prince Charlie escape when the Jacobites were defeated at the Battle of Culloden in 1746. So the family is steeped in history that goes way back. And I thought it would be really fitting to try and embrace that family history to bring a bit of colour into our van. Now Clan MacDonald, or Clan Donald as it's probably better known, is one of the largest and biggest of the Scottish clans. And they resided in the Western Isles and chiefly the Isle of Skye. And all Scottish clans have a different tartan. And they also have tartans for different events. So you may have a dress tartan, you'll have a tartan for going into battle, you'll have a hunting tartan. So I've looked back at the MacDonald tartans and looked back through the ancient history and we've actually selected this tartan here. Now this is the Lord of the Isles ancient hunting tartan. Primarily it's green but it has some blues, white and orange stripes in it and I think this will inject a load of colour into our van. So this is what we're going to go for. I've spoken to Tartan suppliers Lockharen, who are based in Scotland. I've ordered the Tartan material and it's being shipped to Bristol to Cat from Catapulstry. So we're going to make the 400 mile round trip. Cat's been really busy doing the seat cushions for us and we're going to go and see her and pick up our seats. I just want to say Kat a massive thanks for turning these cushions around so quickly. I know we dropped it on you with a bit of a time crunch but you've done brilliantly with them and I'm super pleased with how they've turned out. The tartan looks amazing and I think now I've seen more of the blue with the pinstripe around the edge you know it really sets them off lovely. When we first met you, obviously that was earlier in the year at Camp Quirky and you had a selection of all your upholstery laid out on a little stall there and we first spoke about you doing the upholstery for us but you also had your van there, it's quite a striking van um, <laughs> and it's got a sort of a, a theme to it, it's very distinctive I wondered if you can just tell us a little bit more about that theme and is there a, a sort of message behind it? Um, firstly, I'd like to say I'm super chuffed that you love your cushions and that's going to add a nice little bit of pizzazz into your van. I can't wait to see them in situ. Um, regarding my van, the honeybee, um, yeah, she's big and she's yellow, which was one of the reasons we called her the honeybee when we got her. She is a wonderful creation that my husband and I uh, made, which I'm dead chuffed about. Oh, I used to be a primary school teacher. So I have had this yearning to teach other people about all sorts of things. And one thing that has been in the news lately is about bees and the necessity that we need to support them because they have been endangered, or are endangered, essentially. Um, so as John and I were creating the honeybee, 
she's big and she's yellow, that's where the name came from, uh, we then thought about all of the little details that we could put into her. Obviously the hexagonal shape for the windows is quite a feature and we wanted to carry that all the way through and think about all of the different things you could pop in, so from the curtains to the bed linen and we've got little pin badges and then we have a goodie drawer full of books about the honeybee. Um, I'm a big fan of picture books. So there's some really beautiful picture books for children as well as for adults. Um, and I just think you never ever stop learning and it's a really lovely thing to be able to do in a little pod of joy essentially. I've seen your latest van video which has just been released I believe on Quirky Campers yes. YouTube site. And I take it then that your van is available to hire to the general public. You know, if somebody wants to try van life before converting a van of their own, yeah. or maybe just want to hire it out for a different type of holiday. Yeah, definitely. You can hire her out through Quirky Campers, through the website, and you can just scroll through. You can find the honeybee and you can check whether she's available for the times that you want to go away. Yeah, if you are interested in converting your own van, we've had quite a few customers that have wanted to come and poke around and see how it was all put together, which is wonderful. Or if you just want to hire her to go on an adventure then you're more than welcome to do that. There's also Glastonbury that's coming up. There's a big festival. Um, she hasn't been booked up yet for that. So if anyone wants to go and hire her for that, then I think that would be quite a lovely way to have a festival experience. And she's also got a heater, a good gas heater in her. So if you want to go away for a winter adventure, which she went on quite a few last winter, then she'll be nice and snug and warm. I'll put a link up here guys to that van tour, please do check it out, it's a fantastic vehicle, it's really lovely, it's well kitted out as well if you want to hire it. I'll also put some links in the description to Quirky Camper's website with all the details of where you can hire it there. Are you also going to be going to Camp Quirky next year? I most certainly am going to be at Camp Quirky next year. Uh, my husband and I will both be there with the honeybee. I'll have a similar setup to last year. I'll have a stall with some of my wall pouches and some examples of bits of work that I've done. And then you guys will be there with your van, so you'll get to check out the work that I've done on Greg and Lou's van, which would be really nice. And then also, um, quite, I'm quite excited because I'm going to be doing a talking workshop as well about uh, interior design that you can put into your van. So that's exciting. Oh, excellent, I look forward to that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, as Kat was just saying, we're going to have our van on display at Camp Quirky next year. So if you want to come and have a look around it and uh, up close and personal, it will be there for everybody to have a look at. I've also been asked by the organisers to do a workshop at Camp Quirky. So I'll actually be doing a workshop on insulation, which is probably one of the popular videos on my YouTube channel. So do come along to that, and if you've got any questions, obviously, we can talk about it then. Now, when we came to you and asked you about doing our seats, we came with a specific sort of brief, you know. Mm -hmm. We had this fantastic tartan fabric that we wanted to incorporate into our van build. Do you like it when customers come to you with a, with a detailed brief like that, or would you prefer to put your own creativity into the... I think you were very well organised, Greg, to be completely honest. Some people really know their own minds and know exactly what they would like, um, and some other people want more guidance. So either, really, I can't say whether I prefer one or the other. I think I'm there to help my customers on their journey in whichever way um, that's possible. So... You're, you're a very creative person and <laughs> I know you. from the samples that you had at Camp Quirky and some of the stuff that I see around <laughs> the workshop, you've got quite a colourful eye I think in mm. terms of material choice. So given the opportunity, do you like putting like, lots of colour into people's vans? And... Yeah, I'm personally I'm quite a colourful character if you ask my friends and family and also look at my home, <laughs> it's oh. quite colourful. Um, but. Yeah, I think colours are really important in life. They're kind of the feel that you get from them, how they make you feel, and also the effects they can have on a space as well. So it depends what kind of vibe you want to create. Um, not everything I've done is super bright and colourful, <laughs> um, but there's definitely some patterns and some jazz going on. <laughs> we chose these colours because we wanted to inject some colour into our van. A lot of the stuff that we've done so far has been 
greys, different shades of grey. The Zebrano is a fairly darkish sort of colour, so we really wanted something to liven it up. And I think this is going to do that just perfectly. Obviously, we've just been talking about van cushions and van upholstery. Mm -hmm. And obviously, you've recently done the cushions for the Indy project, which is another van conversion. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, you've got your own van, but mm -hmm. do you take on other upholstery work as well, other than van conversion? Yeah, I've been doing uh, other, I've done other vans. So I've retrimmed um, passenger seats, double passenger seats, headrests, armrests, door cards, uh, rock and roll beds. I've done headboards for people's houses as well. Um, I've also done window seats in people's houses. I've recently just done a chair that my dad, that my grandpa actually made back in the 1950s, 1960s. Uh, so essentially, if you've got something, I'll, I'll always try and have a go. And if I don't know how to do it, then I'll know somebody else that does. So. Yeah, I always love a challenge. <laughs> I've also done motorbike seats and bike saddles as well. So, oh, wow. yeah, there's a variety. <laughs> Excellent. So if anybody else out there is doing a van conversion or they've got some other upholstery that they want doing, mm. what's the best way that they can contact? On my website, there's an inquiry form. So that's probably the best way because that goes straight into my emails and you can give me a brief description of what your project is. Equally, I've had other people get in touch with me via Instagram message um, or have rung me. So any of those three, <laughs> you're more than welcome to do. If any of you guys would like to contact Kat about upholstery in your own vehicle, then I'll put all the relevant links in the description below this video. Kat's made our cushions completely from scratch. So all of the foam base and obviously all of the fabric was all new materials. We had nothing to start with. So I'm just going to ask Kat if she would kindly explain what the build-up is inside of these cushions. Um, this is an example of the foam that I used for your cushions. So this is uh, three inches of firm foam, uh, V38 firm foam this is called, and then this is an inch of memory foam on the top, so that's four inches all together. And then the last thing I did, especially on the bottom cushions, is I actually added about one centimetre of wadding just to give a bit of extra bounce. Right, Kat, I just want to say an absolutely massive thank you for doing these beautiful seat cushions for us. I can't wait to get them back to Essex and try them out in our van. I know they're going to look excellent. Kat's also given us some squares of the blue fabric, and I've got something really special in mind for these. I'm going to take these back to Essex, run them round to a little company local to us, and I'm not going to explain what we're going to do with this, but this isn't the end of the upholstery in our vehicle. We've got something really special lined up for another part of the van. So make sure that you're subscribed because you won't want to miss what we're going to do with these bits of fabric here. So here we are back in the van. We've put the brand new cushions in place and I couldn't be happier. They look absolutely amazing. Really chuffed with this colour. So we had a lot of greys in the van before so this has really added some much needed colour. I love how this McDonald tartan goes with this blue and orange piping on the edges. And then what Kat's done is she's made the cushions for us so that they're double sided with a zip down the middle so we can actually take the covers off, have them washed if they do get grubby and we could even change them and flip them over and put them around the other way so we'll get loads and loads of wear out of these. And with that little one inch of memory foam and that wadding, they're super comfortable. You know, this is going to be absolutely fantastic. I, I can't be more pleased. And lastly, I just want to say a massive thanks, Kat. You've done a really superb job here. And thanks for turning them around so quickly for us. I really appreciate it.